you have to say that I really did enjoy our Northern Ireland road trip. Yeah, I was a good tour guide, wasn't I? Yeah, you were bad! And it got me thinking that we should do more road trips together. Yeah, so where are you taking me? We're going to Wales! Woo! Wales! Yeah! For our big road trip, we're exploring North Wales. Leaving the BP studio behind, we'll head into Wales, taking in the sights, soaking up the culture and discovering as many amazing parts of this country as we can. I've had some help from the BP fans oh. to plan this one. So it should be really good. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Sit back, hold tight, enjoy the ride. The first stop on our road trip has been suggested by Martha from Liverpool. Hey, Martha. Hi, Maxi. Hi, Adam. I think you should go to London now in North Wales. I went there last year on holiday and had an amazing time. We walked along the seafront and went to the top of the Great Orm. It was so much fun. I think you'll love it. Bye. Wow, this ain't bad. Look at that view. I know, it's so nice. Wait, you didn't know London no, is a record-breaking place, Adam. I didn't. It has the largest seaside resort. Mm -hmm. It has the longest pier. Mm -hmm. And it has the longest passenger cable car in Britain. <gasps> wow, does that mean <laughs> we're going down on the cable car? No. Oh. I have a faster way for us to see the sights and to enjoy the view. Come on, let's go. Okay. So Waxy has decided the best way for us to see the Welsh countryside is by riding a long metal roller coaster down a steep hill, which is controlled by gravity. Adam, come on! I hope this thing has brakes. Okay. You ready? No. <laughs> Bye, Marcy! Yeah. Ooh, ooh, we're off, we're going off, okay, bye! Our toboggans are powered by gravity. Whoa! <laughs> but what's more nerve wracking is that we can control the speed. So, this is the brake stick. Pull it back and it brakes. Let it go forward and you speed up. I'm on a toboggan. Oh my gosh, this is a fantastic way to sightsee. Ooh, I'm getting to the top. Three, two, one, go! Oh, I'm going fast, I'm going fast! Whoa, 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 whoa. Speed it up round the bend! Time to show Marcy how it's song! Woo! 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 Oh, this is so scary! Woo! Woo! This is really fast. My eyes are watering. Woo! Woo! Come on! It's I thought you were meant to be good at this. Speed up! Uh, oh. oh, this is fun. I could do this all day. No! Your hair looks great on the plus side. Can we go again? No, we have more to see. Come on. I really want another go. Back on the road, I've got the tunes flowing and we're heading to Anglesey. Over 60,000 people live on this island and more than half of them speak the Welsh language. So, do you know how to speak any other languages? Uh, oui, je parle français un petit peu. Français? Oui. Oui, je ah. suis français. Uh, je m'appelle Adam, uh, ça s'écrit A-D-A-M. J'habite à Derry, dans le nord-ouest de l'Iran. Il y a beaucoup de magasins près de la Belfast. Okay, Adam, your French is good, I think. But get ready to really test your language skills. I'll tell you what, I don't think we'll learn much Welsh at a train station. We will. You know, this train station is part of a special town that has the longest name in Europe. Wow. See? Hang on, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Fifty-eight letters? Yeah. I think we're going to need some help. Martha and Jasmine are two BP fans who can teach us something that could be very useful when touring the beautiful country of Wales. Hello, Jasmine. Hello, Martha. Hello. Come again? Yeah. Having a nice day. Oh, yeah. Having a great day. Oh, was that in Welsh? It was. Ah, OK. Well, we're in Wales. Yeah. I think it would be a good idea if we learned some Welsh. Can we learn this? Because this is yeah. so long. Yep. So, stand by. I'd push Queen Gish, go get a Queen Dropper, stand silly, or go, go, go. Go, go, go. I got the end. <laughs> I know. Should we break it down in parts? Yeah. yeah. Stand by. Yeah. 
Go, 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 And we're Welsh. Is there any like key phrases you can teach us? Because we're going to be here for a while, so we need to know some stuff. So, bora da, good morning. Oh, bora da, bora da. Yeah, diolch. Diolch. Thank you. Diolch. Thank you. Diolch. Diolch. Hwylfawr. 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 Oh, at the end. Hwylfawr. What's that mean? It's goodbye. Goodbye. Hwylfawr. Hwylfawr. And do you feel like it's important to learn Welsh? Oh, definitely. Definitely, yeah. So it's embracing the culture and it shows the passion and it shows history and everything. It's really important. I got one. How do you say, Mwaxi, please stop singing? Waxi, stop your canny. Waxy, stop your canoe. You don't need to know that. Oh, yes, I do. I know you don't. It'll come in handy for this trip. I know one thing that can help stop the singing. <sighs> oh! What are they? They look yummy. These are traditional Welsh cakes. <gasps> Go on, have one. <gasps> Thank you. I'll try one as well. Mm. Mm. Mmm! Good. Mm. Nice one, mm. Mm. Very sweet. And I've done a bit of research. In Wales, these are also known as bake stones because traditionally they're baked on a cast iron griddle over a fire. Mmm! Do you know what? They do taste like scones and biscuits put together. Mmm! I think I might take some for the road. They're nice. Yeah, mm. you just. Thanks! No! Oh, I didn't think so. Marty, come back! Hey! They're mine! Oh! Mm. Is our hotel nice tonight? I booked my room, I don't know about you. You might sleep in the car. <laughs> Richie, having a great time on the road trip. So far, we've learned some Welsh, we launched ourselves down a hill, and we had some delicious Welsh kicks. My only complaint is that Moaxi took her shoes off in the car, and the smell was worse than when Henry thought the BP studio was a good place to go to the bathroom. Hey! I can hear you, you know. Oh. Awkward. I could leave Adam behind for that foot comment, but the next stop is so beautiful, everyone deserves to see it. Wow, <laughs> this place is incredible. It's like somewhere from Italy or something. I know. Are we still in Wales? No, we're definitely in Wales. And you know what? I have a few facts I want to tell you. Do you want to hear them? Hit me with the facts. Fabulous, come on. Okay, so this whole place was designed by architect Clough Williams Ellis, who wanted it to resemble a small Mediterranean village. Fun fact, no one actually lives here. It's just for tourists. Ah, interesting. Take one of me. You've probably seen this small village on the big screen because it's featured as a backdrop in so many films and even an episode of Doctor Who. <laughs> okay. Marcy, where did she go? The villages are made to look ancient, so the buildings have a very old vibe. And how do they do that? With help from us. No. Hang on. I have to do work in this holiday? Jeez. Don't worry, Adam, you won't be working alone because I've assembled a BP team of expert painters to help keep the village looking as good as, well, old. These guys are regular visitors to Port Mirion and they know how important it is to maintain its unique style. Garen, what would you say is your favourite thing about coming here? Well, seeing all the colours. Mm, it's really colourful, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah. And Imogen, what's your favourite thing to do when you come here? Jump in the fountain. Jump in the fountain! It was cold, but it was fun. <laughs> so, what do you guys think people love coming here? I think it's probably because of this place's history and mainly how old it is. I think it's because it's very unique and it's colourful. Yeah, it is very colourful, isn't it? Just time for some finishing touches. No! <laughs> there you go. Hey, look, it matches the back of your blue, OK? Nice job, everyone. We smashed that. Celebration dance. And as we keep those good vibes going in the car... Oh, you paused it. There's time for one more stop on this trip. This one has been suggested by Fern from Derbyshire. What have you got for us, Fern? Hi, Adam. Hi, Moxie. 
You should visit the Cleckworth Slate Quarry in Snowdonia. There are amazing views and a really cool surprise that I think you'll love. Have fun. So this is a slate quarry. So you know what you get on your roofs in your house? Slate. I mean, there's a lot of mountains around here. Yeah. You're not going to get me to climb Snowden, are you? <laughs> no, not. What we're going to do is go all the way down there. Down there? Yeah, low, low. High low? Underground. Underground? Yeah. No way. <laughs> yeah, you're going to love it. <laughs> Mines like this one are a really important part of Welsh history. During the 19th century, up to 17,000 men worked underground in quarries like this one to produce more than 400,000 tonnes of slate. These days, there's a very exciting way to tour these immense caverns. In the form of an intense assault course nailed onto the walls of the mine. Oh it's fun. my goodness! I can't see the ropes, but apparently we're going to be on them. Marcy, it's yeah. so high. I know, I love it. Are you scared? Listen to that echo. Echo! Echo! Ooh. I'm not sure about this. There are a total of 13 zip lines, but in order to get to reach them, we have to make our way through the cabins. Down, 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 down. Down, down, down. Bye. She's going down the ladder. Hi, Adam. Hello, finally. Wow. Well, actually, we have a trampoline type thing. It's quite cool. Yeah, Look, if we like bounce. If we bounce. I like it. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy. We like to bounce. Woo! -hoo! And as we descend further into the dark caverns, the obstacles get harder and the floor seems further away. I think we're about 50 feet up in the middle of a cave. I've never been in a cave, so to be 50 feet up, it's interesting. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Woo! OK, easy does it. Who suggested this again? I think it was fun. Oh, Fern, thanks for this. <laughs> thanks for getting my heart racing today. <laughs> All of our hard work has paid off because now we get to zip. Look down there. Oh, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. This is really high. Guess what, guess what, guess what? It's really high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Okay, okay. I don't push! Don't push! Yes! <laughs> okay, Adam, this is how you do it. Yeah, go on, Waxy. <laughs> Woo! And she's off. <laughs> and she made it. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's do it at the exact same time. Woo-hoo-hoo! This is amazing. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Adam, how was it? That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> we done it. High five. <laughs> how was that? That was so good. Was it? I really enjoyed that, you know. I thought I would be scared, but yeah. it was exciting. OK, but overall, your Welsh experience out of 10? Oh, I would have to say, you know what? I have to say 10. <laughs> so, what's your next? I know, good question. I feel like some of the BP fans at home should help. Mm, good idea. If you want to leave us your suggestions, head on to the BP website and tell us where you would like us to go and why. And it could be your hometown. We'll, we'll see, see you next week. week. Bye! Bye.